Hi, my name is Maggie D. Virgilio. I'm a sophomore at the University of South Carolina, studying hospitality. In September, I visited Fabio's Bistro for dinner with my dad. Fabio's Bistro is a little Italian restaurant located in my hometown, Fanwood, New Jersey. While I sat down and enjoyed my meal, I made a lot of observations about my experience at Fabio's. In this video, I will be conducting an analysis based on the strengths, weaknesses, threats, and opportunities that I saw while at Fabio's. To start off with, I'll be sharing with you Fabio's strengths. Fabio's is located in a prominent location right in downtown Fanwood, adjacent to our town's train station. After work, commuters usually come to Fabio's to pick up dinner for their families. Fabio's offers a free delivery service, the option to pick up your meal, or to dine in. On nice summer nights, Fabio's has an outdoor seating section for families or anyone. It's a beautiful dining experience. Also, Fabio's has great parking. Although it is next to a really busy train station, they have free parking in the back and to the side of their restaurant. Parking is never an option and there is always available spaces for their customers. Also, Fabio's has an extensive menu that you can choose from. Their options are wonderful and you will not find anything that you don't like. In addition to their menu, they offer bring your own bottle service. My dad was especially happy about this, so he brought his own bottle of wine and enjoyed it with his fabulous meal. Fabio's has great customer service. Our waitress came right over to us and took our drink order within a minute. She then brought over a basket of bread within 30 seconds, and our food was out hot and beautifully prepared within 10 minutes. It was the best service I think I've seen in a while. In addition to that, they were super nice and accommodating. The owner came over to us once in the middle of our meal and made sure that everything was to our liking. On top of everything, Fabius has reasonable prices. My dad and I didn't pay more than $15 a ped. It was great. And they included a coupon with us too, so it was even more off of our meal. Even though I had a great dining experience and Fabio's has some wonderful strengths, there were some weaknesses. Unfortunately, Fabio's is extremely small. The tables are very close together, so it's easy to hear your neighbor's conversation. In addition to the tables being close together, the counter where the owner and the employees work at is also close to the dining area, so I could hear the owner talking to his employees very loudly. I also could hear the phone ringing nonstop. It was a little distracting, and it was hard to hear my dad while we were eating. Also, another weakness is, the, a while ago, Fabio's changed ownerships. The previous owner had a bad reputation for mistreating his employees. This bad reputation made a lot of people turn away from Fabio's and it left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. But because of the new ownership, there has been a broad of opportunities. Next, I'll be sharing with you the opportunities that I saw Fabio's can potentially seek. I believe that Fabio's can extend their menu even further. With the new ownership, they can bring in a light to people with allergies. Personally, I'm allergic to dairy. I love pizza, but I always have to take the cheese off. Including dairy-free items like dairy-free cheese or dairy-free desserts would be fabulous and would mark towards people with allergies. In addition to dairy-free items, I believe that gluten-free items would also soar at this restaurant's menu. Gluten-free pasta or gluten-free pizza would definitely be appreciated to people with allergies or intolerances. I also believe that they could add a coffee selection to their menu. Coffee invites people to stay longer and spend more money. This is an opportunity for the restaurant to grow. It could also extend its dessert menu in addition because no one loves dessert more than we do. Dessert's fabulous, but unfortunately the restaurant only has ice cream and sorbet. I think if they bring in some baked goods, then it'll bring more attention to the restaurant. They also have opportunity to be more involved in the community. Fabio's used to be known off as a shelled-in restaurant that wasn't really open to the community. 
The new ownership can bring light to the restaurant and turn its business protocol around. Despite all of its beautiful things, Fabio's also has some threats. I live in a highly Italian populated area. There are eight Italian restaurants in the square mile of Fabio's. One is 800 feet away, in fact. So, their competition is definitely a threat. Unfortunately, one of the biggest threats to them is our pizzeria, Nick's Pizza. Nick's Pizza is located about 800 feet away from Fabio's. It's beloved by the town because it supports a lot of charities and they also are very kid friendly. They include a lot of pizza toppings like M&Ms and cookie dough and cookies, so kids really like it. And whenever I babysit, I always ask my kids what pizzeria they would like to order pizza from, and it's always Nick's, even though I prefer Fabio's. Nick's is definitely a threat, and their comp surrounding competition is also a threat to the restaurant. All in all, I had a great experience dining at Fabio's. I would definitely recommend it to anyone else. I believe that the new ownership will bring great success to the restaurant and they will be soaring above Nick's as soon as possible. Thank you for listening to my SWOT analysis. Have a great day.